Race 3, follow Cape Racing on social media, maiden juvenile plates for the Phillies this time, and the winner number 3, Siddeley, daughter of Lancaster Bomber. Well done to Zanele, he's received his 1,000 rand from Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing, so congratulations to him. He's got a lovely feel on his hands, and Richard was aboard, a lovely finish, we enjoyed that, uh, but it was quite close. Yes, um, I had this whole idea of riding this filly quietly, getting a couple of horses to follow, you know, teaching her the right sort of thing. But she came out with her head on her chest and I was swinging on and she just wasn't coming back to me. So eventually you have to accept it and just let her find a comfortable stride and, you know, ride a race from there. And I, I rode a track work and I came back and said to Justin, this filly definitely feels like she needs a mile. It's like, no, I agree, but, uh, you know, we're starting in the in the six furlongs and we'll build from there. But uh, gates open, she had her own idea um, and she was very green. Um, I went after her, she shied away from me like two, three times and then when the, the runner-up came flying, she shied again and I thought, okay, now she's done enough damage now to, to get beat. But it's a big goal, makes a difference. Um, just happy to have my head down on the line, but she's so immature. Um, but could be anything, so I'll keep my eye on this filly, see if we can build on her. But well done to Justin, uh, to Jonna. There was a lot of deciding to do when the noms came out, um, but yeah, uh, ended up being on the right one. And then obviously, to special thank you to Lama Scroll. Uh, I was up there yesterday storming through one of the little farms to get up to Chevelli. Little did I know that's not a little road to go through, but uh, uh, yeah made up for it. So, lovely win. Thank you to, to Lama Scroll again and then obviously to my sponsors at Winning Form. Well done, Richard. Thank you. There you go, Richard, taking us uh, through the race. And uh, Justin, as I think the theme has been of the first three races, that the horses have the ability. It just depends on how they take the racing and how green they can be. But this filly thankfully prevailed to, to win a good race. Yes, I must be honest. I was quite surprised. Uh, she'd done it the hard way. Uh, into uh, Southeaster is never easy. Kenworth 1200 from the front has got to be the hardest 1200 you can run in in South Africa. So I thought quite game, very game. You could see she had probably 50 out. Uh, she said, this is enough. So uh, a very game effort to keep up and, uh, you know, win this race. So to Peter, really w well done. Um, Interesting, Lancaster bomber out of a trippy mare. We know where that comes from, so well done to Peter. Uh, fantastic, he's, he's you know getting some of these mares and uh, breeding them, you know, very good for Lancaster, I think, having a, a, a winner with us. I've got quite a few in training, so looking forward to those coming out. Uh, yes, and just, as I said, it's funny enough, there, were, there was a very nice horse that Peter bought at the sales, um, and he's that's with me at the moment, and he said, well, it needs a companion, so he sent this filly as the companion, <laughs> and she's already won, and the one that originally came hasn't, but she's a nice filly, and she'll come out soon as well, so uh, really well done to him, it's an absolute pleasure training for him here in the Western Cape. And it's, I think it's just lovely to see, I mean, it's the start of their careers, a lot of them start off for a little bit, go for a rest and come back, so it's, it's exciting for us to follow them. Them through their careers and and uh, just see how it pans out for them. I think this is a filly that the, the best thing for her now is to put her away a little bit. To be honest, I think she's a filly that will mature. I uh, trained the mother. Uh, she she went over a little bit of a trip. She's um, as I said. I think just be a bit patient with her. She she'll she'll furnish into a nice filly. Uh, and uh, yeah, as I said, just keep the ball rolling at the moment. So it's going well. <laughs> well then, Justin. Great. Thank you. Yeah, that's uh, Justin Snay taking us through his comments. Number seven, Sidley, and uh, rightfully mentioned he trained the mother sunset trip. Well done to Lammers Cross Stud for not only owning but also breeding this uh, this filly. Lancaster Bomber as uh, advertised bombs away. They really are nice sorts, so keep an eye on them. Well done to Richard uh, for riding and keeping her going despite being a little bit green, and uh, she did it the hard way. But uh, let's hear from MJ. He's got Gareth, uh, who was runner-up there, and uh, let's hear his comments to see if we can keep an eye on his filly next time. Yeah, thanks, Vili. Vicky, uh, Gareth Rutt, uh, Kalomi Gold. It was quite a tight finish. You just saying that she was just a little bit too green. Yes, you know, she, she moved through them quite well today. I thought with momentum I might have got up, but it was very close to the line. So I think just greenness when she got to that horse, she hesitated slightly. But promising run, promising debut. So I think there's a lot to look forward to. Gareth, not too much wind out there. What's the track like? No, the track's still a bit firm, but there's not, not much wind at all, to be honest. I didn't feel any of it. <laughs> Gareth, thanks very much for your comments. Gareth Rath had just ridden Kailami Girl. Philly just got beaten, and I'm sure she won't be, take too long to win a maiden.
that's to the race, close race of race three at Hollywood Pets Kenilworth.